another drawing tutorial with the Pentology app using your phone like I have here or a tablet if you so wish. So my name's Fiduce um, and I've been a digital artist close to five years now, probably longer on and off if we take that into account. And um, but before that, I was uh, doing traditional art using watercolors, acrylics mainly, and charcoal pencil. And was pretty, I was pretty good as a young kid. My art teacher was very disappointed when I didn't take up art. So most of my life was spent pursuing uh, a, car a career to uh, bring in money. It was uh, mainly uh, technology technology and electronics computers so i've been doing that the most part of my life but recently i've been devoting all my time to this paintology drawing app that uh, i'm showing you here so you may be wondering what well oh, just another drawing app but it's not really take a look at this uh, drawing this was done with the paintology app on my phone and I used this method called block coloring to make this painting. And you can do the same. It doesn't really require any experience. But the whole idea of the app is to make you a really good artist, is to build rapid skills in drawing and painting, the very skills that you uh, admire when you look at to YouTube. And they have the same pencil and paper, and you're wondering, how do they do that? Well, it's not mystical, or the person is born with a pencil in his mouth. It's actually quite a um, technique, and the very techniques that I'm teaching paintology is going to make you a better artist. So that's the whole idea, and... Uh, I'm pushing that with all I can, and the reason I do that is because I, um, partly because I want people to see the rewards of drawing and painting. You might have seen other people who draw and paint. They do it with ease, but most importantly, you see them, you see them immersed in drawing and painting and the love people have for art and creating art is so much more beautiful than just observing art in my opinion you know it's the same with any skill so i've got a lot of other skills apart from painting and drawing and uh, so i don't need to boost my ego and watch you can come and watch me draw because i draw quite well and paint quite well and but the, but my whole premise of these tutorials is to teach you art techniques the techniques that doesn't rely on digital tools for example this one was done with one brush this is a famous pablo picasso's 1937 sold i believe for 40 million dollars 19 you know, 1950s and then um, and then it just and then i think it's probably priced at 70 but that's because of his name essentially a lot of it's partly to do with his name so let me uh, give you a quick intro since you're new to this channel some of you okay firstly uh, you need to go to paintology.cora.com do you bookmark this page so you can see here, you see this is a tutorial we're going to do and you can't, not, you cannot tell me that this is not a, a painting that you cannot recognize. Of course, it's the Sunflowers by Van Gogh, right? This is a painting of yesterday's drawing tutorial. So I, the tutorial is divided into two parts, part one and two. This is part one where I do half the drawing and the part two is when I finish the drawing. This one you see of Monet, 
So I've been doing uh, quite a few Grandmaster series, you know, in the last week or so, this one. And uh, this one you may not have, you may have seen but not heard of the artist. He's, uh, his name is uh, by Alexander Kalam. And these are all art that I've sort of gone to the National Music Gallery website and uh, found them uh, and there are some of them are hanging on the wall and who can forget this one this is the great Salisbury Cathedral by the river by Constable again this was an interesting one I didn't show you the trace method of painting I actually did the second part in freehand and to just to show you that it's possible to take these skills and further and you don't need the tools tools are there to shape you because you're, because you're a beginner if you can reach my level of course you can uh, use uh, freehand you don't need tools but to get to my level you need to go through the techniques that I'm going to show you I want people to go to my level actually here's one George Surratt the bathers another bit here's the Ferdinand by Ferdinand Holland Hodler sorry in Kean Valley beautiful isn't it this is our painting on that done on the phone this is the original and then you can not forget this Dutch boat in a gale by Ter William Turner. This one I added a bit more stormy effects. Can you notice? It almost looks like uh, the water. There's uh, there's rain in the air, and because you can tell by the turbulent sea. But in the original Turner's painting, it's quite tranquil. But but it gives the impression onset of a of a big storm coming, doesn't it? This one, Cezanne, not, can't forget that. Edgar de Gass, Klimt, of course, the famous kiss by Klimt. You can see how closely I got to the original here. I couldn't spend the time doing the details of the ground with the flowers and that, so I ended up making it like this. My daughter of nine, she actually a lot prefers my painting, would you believe? And Van Gogh, Café Ter, and of course, the unforgettable Mona Lisa. This is original, this is the one I did. So how can one make drawings at that level? Because you've got the zoom, so an, your phone is effectively an A3 size paper, you know? Larger than A4, believe me because you got the zoom and that's what I'll show you. And this is not an image manipulation, image editing app, which some of you might think when you get into it. And uh, because, you know, because it, it's hard pressed, you're hard pressed to believe anyone can draw at this level. But these are the techniques that you develop. So what I'm going to show you that. And then the other, uh, the other uh, the site you want to so paintology.cora.com please follow me there i'd really appreciate it It really helps a lot the other one is a paintology.com and then this is the page you're interested in go to the daily step-by-step -step video tutorials and then you'll see come to this page this has the entire collection of paintings I've done since October there's well over a hundred and then these are the streams you can see here these in itself is a lot of artists would charge for people to access this but I'm offering it for free right now you know so take full advantage of it and as you can see completed drawing here and then the streams these are live streams part one and two it's going back so long see us the, the fox whatever takes your pleasure
Right, these are early drawings of the this is a plane and then this one this mm, famous Marilyn Monroe's plenty to it so please bookmark this page and follow me and of course subscribe don't have to tell you that then there's another area that you want to work on another section and you'll find a link in the description it's the Google Classroom these are all pointing to the 800 tutorials to get you structured way to from beginning all the way to up. If you're interested in painting and drawing, this is an entire course of its own. On, uh, but it's not academic. It's it's designed to make it fun. So you're learning while you're drawing. Like I'll show you about the paint by numbers. So let's head back to here and then I'm going to show you the home page. Don't need that, I've already saved that. Tutorials there. This is the home page. It's only available in Android for now, but who knows, uh, in time we'll have it for Apple. So go to tutorials. There's a reason why the buttons are organized this way. Tutorials are the top left here. And then go to paint by numbers. Pick any drawing you like. Let's take, for example, let's take, let's, find, let's take this one. You can see here, for example, this, this woman's face. And the way we paint this is very easy. You can watch the video. I have to tell you. Right, it just shows you how you use the trace method. And then you alternate. This will take you to the video and to your drawing there, this toggle button. So this is really essentially the block coloring. And you just simply click on the car, adjust the brush side. Right, zoom in, here it is. This is what makes this phone behave like a A3 size paper. So you can watch the whole video on that. That's that's the block coloring. And the paint by numbers, let me open this one up. It's very simply this three. Yeah. So you select these colors, numbers, according to the numbers there. And away you go. This builds your disc strokes muscle. This paint by numbers, wonderful. It's really fun. You know you've enjoyed paint by numbers. I gotta thank paint by numbers for for launching me in my art interest, bringing back the catalyst that I needed. So all these numbers seven, you can go here and then two, right, and then you can change the brush size. Rotate. You can do all kinds. Of, the brush size can be even, even tiny. I am sometimes because you are creating detail. I have brush one half percent. Look at that. Let's go out. See how tiny that is. So now you can imagine why the, your phone behaves like a huge drawing canvas. So there you are. That's the intro. No, let's not save it. Let's go back, discard it, and then we're going to go to this, open up the reference image. So you can do this. Oops, that's not the right. The reference image. Here's some flowers here. So we're going to click long press, download this image, and we're going to get the first part of this drawing in trace mode. Okay. And then that's my daughter, actually. She needs to renew her passport. So that's why she looks very somber. <laughs> so again here. So you see? That's the that's the total image. Right? This is the, our canvas that we're gonna draw on this. So this is not again repeat, not a photo editing, if that's what you're looking at and you're and you think, wow, yeah, I'm going to use it for you. You have to do this 
by hand and it's a, to develop your drawing techniques. If you're not interested, or if you're looking for a quick fix, there are many other simpler drawing apps, you know, there are many other drawing apps that you can do, but this has been designed to improve your drawing. So how do, how do we go about the first step of the, usually this is all I do, I pick, I stick to the line brush, I'm very fond of this brush actually, pick a brush size, before, you know, before I do that, let me zoom out, click on the zoom, see, there's so many colors that that we want to, these are called tones, and this is the block coloring method of getting these tones to our drawing canvas. Take, for example, if we, if we have this cursor on the top half, click on the, the color picker and then go to that, see, we've transferred that color and then this color of the sunflower to our canvas. It's very simple there. And then this color. See these colors we've transferred? And now if we pick this and then just do stroke, we've got drawing strokes happening on our... Yeah? So every time I pick a color tone, because it may be different, even though it looks yellow, I'm going to show you when how the eyes can really fool us because you think you're thinking that these tones are not really varying by much but you'll be shocked at how much they vary so i'm just gonna pick the color picker and just go around picking these background tones and just making our first pass of that drawing you might have seen traditional people this is the way i <coughs> i like to bring my traditional in fact the reason my paintology came about was nobody was drawing like the way i was drawing they were all turning to tools you know and then all digital art took on a very computer animated type of look and then i thought you know I'm going to make an app, but so that got me the idea for making Pentology. This was some way back, and then it was I stopped because other life challenges come, and then I've been continuously, 100%, putting my effort in the last four or five years in this. So there's a lot of effort that's gone into Let's look at our, look at the colours, the yellow colours. Do you think they're all the same? You'll be shocked that they are very different. These are the yellows we picked just on the background. I guarantee you, look at that. Take that to Photoshop or GIMP and measure the hex. They will all be slightly different. That is the beauty of nature, trust me. Beauty of nature is not blocky like Legoland. It is this. See the variations of the tones. You see, you can see there that he actually had a darker tone down towards the base. Okay, so that's his. Now let's do the same thing for our with this bigger brush for the the table, right? Okay, because we're just trying to get this. This is actually a lot simpler than one thinks. It's not as difficult than the other challenges we had. So the way I make this look very easy because I am, I have experience in drawing, but you can see it doesn't require a genius or rocket science to know that this is fairly easy. Color picker double color picker make mark color picker make marks color picker make marks color picker make marks very easy and now we're going to get to this smaller detail and it makes sense that we're going to reduce this brush right rule of thumb is always reduce the brush half of 
of what you did and then try and get those elements that that you can paint with only half with a smaller brush you know now we go through the vase you see how the tones change all right so are there any other areas that you can think that, that allows us to uh, you know use this brush i can think of a few i'm going to just do a little bit of the sunflowers here with the color picker and then change it around maybe it's slightly it's a little darker i think and then, yeah. so just you've seen good artists when they paint with acrylic or oils look at this see the different tones beautiful isn't it for now we're just picking up these little tones right and now you can see you can actually go uh, to detail of the the orange color the background and then fill that up so you end up with of course your painting look here that's what we have so far okay and then this is so much fun i have to warn you it can be very addictive and that's what i want people to enjoy the beauty of painting and drawing you know it's not so hard i mean what's so pleasurable about i know there's a paint by numbers that i showed you earlier where people click on num on the numbers and the colors come up automatically fill I mean, what's how are you going to learn painting just clicking numbers you see this is the world we live in quick short gratification and then what happens is they're quick to judge people are way too quick to judge they don't use their common sense or they lose their their creative skills and i'm trying to bring this back hopefully with this because you don't want to give all that time to facebook and youtube and make them richer than they are, are they what do you want to do that for i mean i'm not saying you don't have to but Spend the time, spread the time, do creative stuff. Here, instead of just gawping and gazing at people doing art, you know, now you have the ability to paint yourself. You know, I mean, I can only watch so much people, movies. You know, I like to watch a movie and all that. But so much more fun doing painting doing creative stuff yourself it just opens up doors so believe me with this trace method i can i don't have to rely on this aid and i can make photorealistic drawing on the phone so now you know that uh-huh it makes sense why he can do that because he's got this skill here and he's also got the right tool yep so before you quickly judge in some editing or because no, that's the reason is nobody can tell it's digital art. They expect a certain way digital art to come about. Perfect circle. Because I'm not using auto-correction blending. I do my own blending and it's so much more fun. I spend more time on the drawing rather than the tools. Most digital artists spend all their time, probably 60-70% of their time, and uh, accessing tools. I mean, I'm an advanced user of Photoshop, but I will never, honestly, I will never use it for drawing. I've never have. I've been using Photoshop, but I've never felt the urge that it's going to somehow launch me into a drawing career or a painting career. Never did. So here I'm just going to get the tones very detailed it's got intricate brush strokes but we can look into that after a little while let's just get the stroke whenever you see these tonal changes change go go to the color picker again right and pick the brush don't worry about what you picked up as long as you picked up these local colors right with that brush size and this is a good brush size 
I don't want to spend, honestly, don't want to spend too long picking the... You know, doing hyperrealism, going into pixelation. You can do hyperrealism with Pentology. It's very easy. You just zoom in a thousand times and do pixel by pixel color picker. That's really essentially hyperrealism. If you want to do that, you're welcome to do it, but I ain't going to do it because i got so many drawings to do, so many things to learn. All right, so there you are. You can see these strands of the wonderful... We're going to go to an even smaller brush for that, okay? But right now I'm playing down the bigger colours. And you might, you must have seen artists who actually paint like this. They lay down the bigger colours. But we have something which these traditional people do not have. And that is our colour picker. Think of this colour picker as our infinite colour pot. That's it, the infinite colour pot. Look at these, I'm not going to go in there, because look at the size of this. My brush is a bit too big for these wonderful strands, right? So I'm just going over, covering what I can. Now let's now move to half of this brush size, about 2-3%, yeah? So now we can, look at that, see that? I'm going to zoom in by pressing the zoom in order to do this. Look, see that? Ah, I'm getting the background now to go and shaping this. See how it works? It makes very easy. It's nothing difficult. Why would you have difficulty in this? Because you're all thinking that digital art requires technical mastery, which is total nonsense. You know, technical mastery is when you use, try and attempt to use Photoshop. I guarantee people buy all the tools with Photoshop because it's a blooming beast. And I'm pretty competent with software application. And I can tell you when beginners start in that path, they are most likely to give up. It's a beast of a software, and it wasn't designed for painters like me, like this. It was designed, it evolved because there was a big demand for web graphics, and anyone had to, with a little bit of technical competency, could get in and draw circles, shapes, <coughs> and color fill, autocorrection, all the things that the non-artist would be able to do. And what happened? All the other drawing apps started following that model. And then, as a result, all digital art looks like digital art. And if you look at mine, I guarantee you, take my art to anyone, show it to them, and ask them in what medium I use, they will not guess it's digital Look, I'm doing it by hand. This is a pure pleasure of drawing. If you want to do it other ways, then go ahead. But if your interest is fine art like my me, I love landscape painting and that. And I love painting and drawing with my hand, as opposed to using tools. Then, uh, then you've come to the right place. See how I'm correcting it, right? I'm just going across, picking these, and our first pass of the of the painting will look pretty good, I believe. I think you're going to like it, and I hope you're doing it as well, because this is this is something you're not you can't skip. And if you think you can't draw, this isn't this like drawing? Look, isn't that, I'm making strokes here. Isn't that like drawing? What is different about that? Why is this complicated? How is this different to pencil 
drawing. That was the reason why I said, why is everyone just not? But then, unfortunately, I came to the realization that people are just incapable of drawing. Majority of people, they just cannot draw. And there's a good reason for that. It's because the traditionally, there's none of that, how do you call it? So, traditional painting, because the thing is it's very hard for someone to explain why they're good at strokes, shading, tones, all the things that make up a good artist. And and therefore, the, when they're young and start drawing, which is the pastime that they only have when they're young, because majority realize that art ca cannot put food, bread and butter on their table, they give it up, you know, just a passing fad, isn't it? As people would like to think, because it is, it's a very difficult area to break into unless you're recognized by the, the big art critics or something like that. And, you know, there's very logical and explanation. But the problem is, the thing is, most people didn't have the skills when they were young, and they always dismiss it, that you need to have some inherent born skill. But that's totally untrue, because it, in the traditional, all it requires is some art techniques, which you, which some of these people who are good, so this is a double-edged sword, you see, some of these people who are naturally, seem like naturally good when they're young, taunt their skills, and they love the attention, obviously, right? And they're going to go and say, and then they probably won't show you these skills because they're afraid that they're going to lose the attention, right? But when I was young and I was good, nobody asked me. No, no, none of these kids bothered to ask me how I... And then it never occurred to me that I needed to break it down until, you know, of course, when I did pentology. And now I've broken it down. Now anyone can draw. You might have heard of the famous book by uh, Betty Davis, I believe. She talks about the right side of the brain. But believe me, we've come a long way, and I can tell you, digital, with this kind of method of painting, can open the doors to many people in drawing. Look at this, I'm even getting that strands of that. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just simply, just, and then you can see how much I've covered by rambling. Yeah, you can see. Uh, this, see that? I can get that tone. See, as I'm drawing, I'm picking up the tones. And I'm not too bothered about the exact accuracy. If you are, you're not really thinking. You're not thinking about the future, that you're slowly developing these skills. And there's a lot of artists who give the wrong advice. Practice, practice, practice. This is, doesn't mean brute force practice, like they tend to put it down to. You gotta have a pleasurable experience when you're painting. And otherwise, how are, you gonna, how are you gonna keep up this force of practice and practice? You know the famous saying, that like, if you wanna, by a house, it's location, location, location. And the art, it seems to be practice, practice, practice. You know, that makes it look so tedious. Anyone will be put up on it. To me, drawing is such a pleasurable thing that you should, you should see how, how far we got. Just my, me rambling on, talking, and getting to the detail. So I do something which I'm, you don't have to do. I'm going to save it. And the developer has insisted that I do that. And then, and then I'm going to pick it up again. Okay. 
I pick it up from my paintings, this drawing that I finished, because we're working on a prototype. Because that's the that's the hard work. I don't know if you guys know that all these creators putting so much effort because they believe in it. And of course you support them, which is great. But you can do a lot more and then listen to what the uh, listen to what they're asking for and do more if you want to. You know, it's better than just subscribing and paying. In fact, you'll do them a great favour not saying, wow, how wonderful, and thumbs up. Emoji, clap, clap, clap. Emoji, heart, heart, heart. This doesn't really help them. If you want to really help me, do you know what's going to help me? Is when you do it and tell me what it was like. And then, even if you couldn't do it, you could say, could you put a bit of this, please? I would really like that. You know, could you do this? Or could you do this drawing and then put it online? I would really appreciate it. And then, you know, that would really help me getting... You know, that's the kind of thing that I've just given you the secret of getting to the part of the creator is to not just you know it's enough they've got enough ego they don't need to be told no oh, it's brilliant oh lovely and for you such a brilliant artist in fact if you think this was my i'm a very advanced or you should check out my other <coughs> claim to fame a lot of them i can list that's because i'm practicing I'm always a practitioner of anything that I do and take passion in. You know, I've got artworks hanging on people's wall, and I'm no artist. They ask me, have you had any formal training? I said, no. And then that's when I tell them, you don't need formal training to do what anyone can do. It. And they just go up at me like I'm some kind of alien from another planet it's because you haven't you haven't tried it so that brings me to the question of why many people give up because majority a lot of people think the baby was born with a brush in its mouth you know and he's been painting and then um, and that means it's very easy for you to dismiss that talent to some exceptional skills which you have none of and it's very reassuring as well isn't it but then if someone told you that you've always had that skill you just thought you didn't really bother to learn you know and then that sort of piss you off a little bit but majority is still looking for that reassurance I've stopped answering those questions in Quora. By the way, if you sign up to Quora, or if you follow me, you'll get all my, of course, my updates daily. But uh, you'll also be able to read the 1,400 related questions, answers in art. So most of them are trying to help people overcome their obstacles in painting and drawing which is which really fathoms me to this day see what i'm doing I'm not, are you telling me you can't do what i'm doing right i'm not doing anything freehand i want, don't want to show anything in freehand i can i can show off and sh show you how without using this trace i'm able to look at a reference image and make a photorealistic drawing how is that going to somehow benefit? It will it'll boost, it'll boost my ego, but it doesn't really boost my ego because I can do that with my eyes closed, you know? And But it would probably look marvellous to you, just like hyper-realistic when they spent... They spent umpteen hours in trying to... Not on teen hours, three months or something, trying to make a drawing. Mm. 
So I didn't need all that ego. I've got enough. Thank you very much. All I need is some constructive feedback on you guys having tried this and or found some difficulty which I can help you with. All right, this comes his name here. Right, so if your interest is just a quick fix, because that's the world we live in, if it's just a quick fix, then yeah, by all means, there are other ways to get that quick fix. But if you're really seriously interested in art and want to pursue it with some passion, then you've come to the right place. This is, because that's me, I've got that passion and drive. You know, and you know it's not going to, it's not going to be spoon fed to you, you've got to learn. And you, this is the excellent way of learning the strokes, appreciating the tones in a different painting. How do you think I managed to create that Mona Lisa? I even changed her smile. You may not have noticed, but very subtle. So you got a lot of creative elements to work with. See how I'm changing the direction so I don't need to keep rotating my phone, you know, on my hand. I'm just simply... So I'm going to actually stop for about 10, 15 minutes. For until the next class, which is going to be at 9 o'clock. So that's part two. So we usually take a break of 10, 15 minutes and we're going to resume here. Yeah? So I'm going to see what I have here. That looks good, oh, isn't it? Beautiful. In fact, I'm going to stop here. So giving you a chance to go over my video and, and see if I've been sort of rambling or talking sense. And then uh, I will see you in 15 minutes, 9 p.m., not sorry, 9 GMT, on uh, on part two. And you'll see the link in the description. Otherwise, please do go to this page that I showed you. This one, yeah, paintology.com. And then go to the, the button I showed you. You'll come to this page. Also, I would encourage you to look at my blog post there. I've written about four or five hundred articles related to art, so I'm not just an artist, you know, I do it for a good reason, and I talk about it while I was creating videos, so let's go back here, so I will meet you in 15 minutes for the next part two. Thank you for watching, until then, bye.